Outstanding epidemiologist at the group at Harvard who's going to talk about prostate cancer epidemiology. Um, prostate cancer is a major cause of morbidity and mortality really around the world. The uh, U.S. Preventive Task Force has been in the news. Uh, Jim Hughes is going to update us on some of the recent developments. My journey as to what I understand as of today about genomics. The genomics can help us in better diagnosing, better stratifying, better staging, choosing patients for adjuvant treatment. Uh, you see it on the cover of every magazine. We now know that prostate cancer is also linked to other malignancies, not only but is tell you a little bit about immunotherapy for prostate cancer, just a short overview. And mm -hmm. For the opportunity to share a few thoughts on uh, novel biomarkers for prostate cancer. Yeah, I grew up in the south of India, where we got no tigers. We only have elephants. So maybe it's appropriate that I talk about to recognize the slow runners. Very much. Well, Carl Olson uh, comes to the podium talking about a new prostate biopsy reporting system with prognostic potential. We turn you back to six. Dr. Carroll needs no introduction. I'm going to talk about another therapeutic uh, alternative to uh, surgery. It's called active surveillance for early stage prostate cancer. Remember, active surveillance is currently the preferred form of treatment for very low risk patients among all screening Thank guidelines. Thank you very much. Now I think we have a debate. Our address and how do we'll talk about uh, MR as a preferred option. And I'd like to ask all the guys that had a prostate biopsy in the audience today who would have liked to have an MRI before that to hopefully avoid the biopsy. Anyone? I certainly would as well. And I think there's level one evidence to support that today.